everyone and welcome to speed math classes. Today I'm going to tell you how to do multiplication of partially complementary numbers. But before that, I'll tell you what partially complementary numbers are. So let's take up an example. 63 and 67. So in partially complementary numbers, the unit digit, when you add the unit digits like 3 and 7, it should give you sum of 10. Okay and the rest of the number, the remaining number should be equal. So these are the partially complementary numbers. So now when it comes to multiplication, I'll tell you how to multiply these partially complementary numbers now. So let's take step number one. In step number one, what you have to do, you have to multiply the unit digits, which is three and seven. So when you multiply three into seven, you'll get 21, right? So these are the last two digits of your answer. So to get the rest of the answer, what you have to do is you have to take this number, which is six, and take the next integer to six, which is seven, and multiply them, and you'll get 42. So put this 42 here, and your answer is four, two, two, one. You can cross check with your calculators. So this is the first example and now we'll move to the next example. Example number two in which we are multiplying 42 into 48. So step number one, multiply the last two digits which is eight into two, give 16. And then the remaining number which is four into the next integer which is five. So four fives are 20. So your answer is 2016. So that's how we do multiplication of partially complementary numbers. But what if your answer of the last two digit results in a single digit? In that case, we have to always add a zero before the single digit. So now let's move to example number three, which is 81 into 89. So again, our step number one, multiply the unit digits. So now when we are multiplying the unit digits, which is nine into one, our answer is nine which is a single digit answer. So in that case, we should always add a zero when we are putting it here. Because we should have the last two digits of our answer by multiplying these digits. Okay, so the next step, which is step number two, in which we are multiplying eight, followed by the next integer, which is nine, and the answer is 72. We'll put it here. So here's our answer, 7209. So now let's take example number four where we are multiplying 124 into 126. So when we multiply this, again our step number one is we have to multiply the last digits, which is four into six, it gives you 24. And then the remaining number, which is 12, into the next integer, which is 13, so 12 13s are 156. And that's our answer, which is 15624. So this is how we do multiplication of partially complementary numbers. We have a lot more for you in our upcoming episodes. So keep watching Speed Math classes. And thank you for watching this. And please don't forget to subscribe it.